what's good, it's the B-Long Show. You know me, young humanitarian style. Yeah, I figured I'd come see y'all. It's Christmas Eve Eve. Come let y'all know how to light a fire. I know I had a hard time lighting a fire in the fireplace the right way. So I figured I'd share some of my skills with some of the other people. So, first thing you wanna do is grab you some of these. These little fatwood kindling sticks. You can light them up. They light real easy. They are natural. They don't mess up your fireplace. None of that stuff. That's all you need is one. Get you some smaller sticks. This is what you want to start your fire with. You start your fire with these smaller sticks. And if you got anything that you already used, leave that in there. See that right there? That's going to be like coals on your barbecue grill. So you use stuff like that to get your fire started even faster. Don't always clean your fireplace out either. Sometimes you need some of this ash to hang on the bottom so that you can have something for your fire to blaze up. Keep all these little things. You put all these on top of your little fire, your fire light faster. Once you get these lit, then you want to start to add a little bit thicker stick. Once you put that stick in and get those lit, you want to get a little thicker, like this. And once you get to this and these start to burn up, then you can start using your bigger logs. And your bigger logs, you use these because they burn longer. So let me go ahead and get this started. So you don't need a lot in there, but I'm going to stick this in here. I'm going to put it on a slant so the fire can crawl up it. get that started as you see it's already popping because I got those other little old pieces in there once we get that started we'll start to add the other ones you see how small that flame is don't even worry about it just let that stick do its thing you can't rush the fire let it take its time See that? See how it dropped down a little bit? Now it's time for us to put in a little work. So now the fire basically has got itself contained. It's, it's able to, for the wood to be moved around so that you can get it built up now. So before we was just trying to stabilize it by getting it started. But now we got it going. We just want to take advantage of the flame. You see how when I put that over there, that went out. All you need is one of these to pump it back up. But we won't do it because we see that right there. It's picking up on its own. So just let the fire take its time and do its thing. Don't rush the fire. Because the fire 
So it just you'll just be working and wasting wood. But you know what? I want to show you how to use this. So let's just go ahead and pump it a little bit. So you want to see where you where you getting your light embers from, and that's where you want to focus. You just take your time and keep on giving that some oxygen, and you'll watch that fire just pick up on its own. say flame on so what we did is got our old wood back pumping we got wood under there going but I'm trying to focus on that because that's what's on the top and it's already pointing up when the wind pulls up that's how your chimney works because all the smoke pulls out take this little bit of work in the beginning you'll have a crazy fire at the end of the day you can sit down and chill all day with your fire burning Just like that, you're on and popping. It's the B-Long Show. Stay warm.